Hi, this is Casey Moore for Presentation Products. You can see our website at www.smartboards.com. And if you have any questions about the technique I'm showing you today, you can send me an email at kmoore at pproducts.com. Today I'm going to show you a magic reveal technique. This is a neat way to show things to your students and reveal magically the answer. It's actually very easy to do. I'm going to show you three steps to creating a page like this. Number one is to change the background color. Number two, use a shapes tool, create a box, fill in the box, and then lock it in place. The third step is to create two, sorry, to create text boxes with two different font colors. Now I'll put this in dual page mode so you can see that page and you can also see the page I'm working on. So there's my blank page. And the first thing I do is click on the properties tab and change the background color. Let's change it to blue. When we click on the shapes tool, I already have a white box created here, but in case you don't know how to do that, I'm gonna click on this box. And then these are the properties that reflect that object right there. So I'm going to change my fill effects. And instead of using white, I'll use uh, yellow. So I'll, I'm creating a yellow box with a yellow outline. And then down here, I have to save my tool properties. And there's that box. So I can create that yellow box anytime I want to. So I have that box highlighted. I drag across the screen and create my box. And then I have to become a select tool again on my toolbar. So I click on this arrow. Now I have a box that moves around and I have a blue background. I'm going to lock my box in place by clicking on it. I can right click or touch the drop down box in the corner and choose locking and lock it in place. Now anything I move on top of this box won't move the box around at the same time. Now I can create my text boxes. So I choose a text and I start typing. Say sample question and sample answer. If I become a select tool again, you can see I can see the sample question and the sample answer right now because the text is black. If I change the first text to yellow and the second text to blue, we've already created our technique. Then when I move my sample answer, I can see my sample question. I can make that a little bit bigger. It might be easier to see it. So I put the sample down here, and then if I reveal the answer by pulling it into the box, I can see the sample answer because it's blue text. Sample question, sample answer. If I wanted to switch that and have the answer down below and the question in the box, I would change my sample answer to yellow and my sample question, oops, my sample question text. blue. You see now I have the question in the box and the answer out of the box. So I'm going to go out of dual page mode and we'll look, we'll see what this looks like in full screen mode. Just full screen. So now I have the sample question in the box. My students can come up and pull this question down and it reveals the answer. So this is a fun way to uh, check homework or to check answers very easily during class so that students have interaction with my smart board. Once again, this is Casey Moore with Presentation Products. You can reach me at kmoore at pproducts.com. Check back frequently so you can see our uploaded videos. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.